hi my beautiful kings and queens welcome back to my channel so kings and queens as you all know i am your girl latroya griffin and for all of my new people that are watching um if you have not yet joined the family do not forget to hit that notification bell and don't forget to turn on your um and don't forget to subscribe so they can be notified every single time i drop a new video so kings and queens i'm just gonna go ahead and jump straight into today's topic so um, God is saying that we as being his children, we as being children of God, we must hold on to our values, hold on to our morals and our integrity. God is saying that this world will try to steer you away from him. This world will try to distract you from your purpose, from the things that God has placed in you. God is saying that he has placed some 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 things in you that no man can take away but god is saying that this world will try to distract you from that this world will try to you know pull you away from god's from god's purpose that he has for you so kings and queens um the scripture says from revelation 3 verses 11 says i am coming soon hold fast what you have so that no one may seize your crown God is saying that he is coming soon. Hold fast to what you have so that no man can seize your crown. God, he is telling you, hold fast. Hold fast to what you have. So God is saying, hold on to your integrity. Hold on to your peace of mind. Hold on to the things that he has placed in you. God has placed some special things in you. So he's saying that he is coming soon. For man does not know when, he, when God is coming. But he's, God is saying that when he does come, you must be ready for him. For when he does come to judge and, and to for god said when he does come to judge and condemn he's saying that you must be ready you must already be holding on to the things that you have not the not the tangible things god is not talking about the tangible things that he wants you to hold on to but god is saying hold on to your inner peace god hold is telling you to hold on to your peace of mind the, the enemy tries to steal, kill, and destroy. But God is saying that anything and everything is possible with him. If you would just hold on, hold on to the things that God has placed in you, no man can steer you aside. No man can steer you from the things that God has placed in you. He's saying, he says, so that no one may cease your crown. There is a crown on you. Do you not, as you being a child of God, there is something in you and on you that God has already placed in you before you were formed. You have that crown. God is saying that you must hold your head up, king. Hold your head up, queen, and know that he is seeing you through the storm. For I heard T.D. Jake, I heard T.D. Jake say last um, Sunday, he said that he's saying every storm is not yours to fix. T.D. Jake said every storm, so every problem, every encounter that you, everything that you encounter is not yours to fix. Sometimes God places that storm in your life so that he can show you who he is in your life. God is saying, so God is saying that he said every, everything that you encounter, every obstacle, every trial, every, every spiritual warfare that is thrown your way, he's saying that it is not yours to fix. Because sometimes God places things or problems in your life so that, so that he can show you who he really is. Because some of us have a hard time believing that God would fix all things through Christ Jesus. Sometimes God has a, sometimes we have a hard time of believing that God is who he say he is. But God is saying that sometimes he has to show you better than he can tell you. So sometimes every obstacle is not yours to fix. Every battle is not yours to fight. But back to the scripture, it says, cease your crown. It said, hold on to it. Hold on to your crown so that no man can cease it. Some people try to tear you down and 
them tearing you down is basically them taking your crown but god is saying that you don't have to know how to react to certain things sometimes people will test you just to get you out of character sometimes people will will diminish your name just so they can bring the old you back and so they can throw it in your face and say see i knew you wasn't christian i knew you didn't turn your life around i knew you weren't who you portray to be but god is saying hold fast to him see your crown kings and queens we must stay grounded in who god has placed us to be we must stay grounded and who god has told us that we are in his kingdom people of this world will try to get you out of your character people of this world will throw dirt on your name just because they they are jealous of you they're jealous of your anointing they're jealous of the things that god has blessed you with they're jealous of your aura your light because god the enemy can see your light darkness can still see light so they see that there is a glow on you. They see that there is this certain thing or this certain light about you. And they will try to they will try to tarnish your name just so you can get out of character. But God is saying, cease your morals, cease your crown, and know that He, when He comes back, He's saying that every name, every tongue that has rise up against you shall be condemned. God is saying that He is making your enemies your footstool. He's saying that He is setting a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Kings and queens, stay steadfast in God. Stay grounded in who God has told you that you are do not let the people of this world do not let your enemies get a hold of you because they are trying to tarnish your name they are trying to stoop they they're trying to bring you down to their level but god is saying that we must hold our head up and he said hold your head up so that your crown don't fall hold your head up so that he can he can condemn the people that has that has talked against you hold your head up and stay steadfast in him kings and queens like i always say know who you are in god's kingdom and these people of this world cannot get to you the people of this world cannot bring you down do not stoop to their level because there is a calling on your name there is a bigger picture god is saying that there is something that you are destined to do god is saying that he has predestined you to break the generational curses off your family's life he's saying that you are the joshua you are the one to break the curses off of your life off of your family life off of your kids life god is saying that you are the generational curse breaker and he's saying that no man can condemn you because you are his child he's saying yes you might go through things yes you might encounter a few storms but god is saying that the storm does not last always god is saying that the light shall come out God is saying that you are the one that is going to break the generational curse. So keep your head up. Do not let your crown fall because there is a calling on your name. There is something that God has placed you to do. And God is saying that he will not take you out of this world until you have done that. Until you have, until you have accomplished what he has placed you on this earth to do. God is saying that no man can bring you down. No man can slay you because you are his child. Because he is protecting you. Because there there is a calling on your name because there is something that is higher than you god is saying that he is your protector he is your way maker he is the he is the storm he's the light in the middle of your darkness and god is saying that he is going to he's saying that he is going to condemn every name that has rise up against you so stay steadfast in him and he's saying keep your head up king keep your head up queen because you are going to make it through because he is with you he is on your side so god is saying hold fast he's saying that he is coming and when he comes he comes to judge and condemn there are some of us that are going to make it into heaven because we have been obedient and there are some of us that is going to be slain down into hell but i don't want you to be that one i don't want you to be that one to be thrown into the pit of hell because you have been distracted or you have been disobedient I am not perfect. I am just teaching you all. I am still working on myself as well, but I am still trying to guide God's people back to him because, because some of us have lost our purpose. We have lost our vision, but God is saying he has called me to steer his people back to him, to steer his people back to the calling on the purpose that is on their life. So kings and queens know that there is a calling on your life and God, God is saying that you must continue to be diligent and obedient to his name name so kings and queens i love you all so much and i will be seeing you all in tomorrow's video bye my kings and queens